In considering an implantable defibrillator, you may be wondering what the implant procedure is like and what happens afterward. This chapter will give you a better idea of what to expect. Typically, the implant procedure is quick, low risk, and usually done under local anesthesia. It does not require open heart surgery, and most people go home within 24 hours. The implantable defibrillator is implanted under the skin in the upper chest. A small incision is made, and insulated wires called leads are guided through a vein and into the heart. The leads are connected to the defibrillator, and the device is programmed to meet your needs. It is then tested to make sure it is working properly and inserted into a pocket under the skin. The incision is then closed with stitches. You know, the, the procedure actually ended up being much easier than what I expected, much less aggressive than what I expected. You know, there was no open heart procedure. They made a small incision in my uh, pectoral uh, area and did everything as far as insertion of the leads and the device from that area, and it was um, m much, you know, less, um, I guess, intimidating than what I had uh, expected from the procedure. There are some risks involved with an ICD system implant surgery that we would like you to know about. The risks include, but are not limited to, infection at the surgical site, sensitivity to the device material, failure to deliver therapy when it is needed, or receiving extra therapy when it is not needed. But I was quite surprised that as far as pain goes, there was very little pain involved. It's probably one of the easiest procedures that I've ever had. I think there are two important things to think about after you have the operation. Remember, the operation is basically done just to put this thing in the chest, so we have to make a cut about this big. As a result, there's a short period of time where it's uncomfortable at that site, there's a healing process, a minor degree of bruising. But there are two things to remember. The first is that the wire goes into the heart from this site, and at that site, it takes some time to heal into place. We don't want that wire to come loose. So we ask patients, particularly for the first week, to minimize the amount that they use that arm or that shoulder, and in the first month, not to do anything vigorous with that shoulder in terms of heavy lifting or a lot of reaching. The second major area has to do with driving. And depending on the certain circumstances, driving is typically restricted for a period of time after the operation to make sure that the device is working fine and that there's no risk that you're gonna black out because of a heart rhythm problem or something related to the device. Most patients are unable to drive for a month after the operation, but you need to talk to your doctor about the specifics of that to understand that and to see how it applies to you. After the implant, recovery will take about two to six weeks. You will still need to follow your doctor's advice about eating, exercise, and good self-care. You will also have to take your medications as prescribed and have your implantable defibrillator checked regularly. Based on your health history, your doctor will determine what restrictions are appropriate for you. It's very important to remember that the ICD is intended for treatment of sudden cardiac arrest only. It is not a substitute for other medications that you may be taking to treat high cholesterol, heart failure, or your heart condition. It is crucial that you continue to take these medications after the implantation is finished.